Jeep life. Got some grab bars going on the YJ and a uh, replacement seal for the uh, windshield. So I've done a little prep work on this already. Uh, what I've done is I sprayed WD-40 here, 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 and up in here uh, so that these come loose easily. These come loose. These I'm going to go ahead and take out probably the uh, all of them just so I can clean up behind it. And what I'm going to work at is replacing this rubber seal. I got some Gorilla Tape on there for now, but first thing I want to make sure is we can get everything folded down to get to that seal. Because I have to unhook the roll bar in order to get to the handlebar mounts that are going uh, up in here. Uh, right now, I have the YJ at my house, so I'm going to do some restoration projects. First thing I'm going to do is I'm putting a cushion over my high lift because I don't want the windshield to come down and get broken on the high lift. So, so I've pre-loosened everything already. Take out the big bolt. I'm using my Avid Power cordless impact wrench. Uh, if you have a, a locking door enclosure, take that off. PB blaster on the hinge to help it. Make sure it's not in the way. Your bracket that holds your sun visor on is attached to the windshield frame and it goes across this. The smaller bolts, by the way, are a T40. And the bigger bolt that holds the windshield on is a T45. I'm going to use a T20 right now to detach my frame. I would recommend also is putting some uh, some penetrating oil or PB Buster on anything that you're going to take apart that is on an older Jeep because it's been sitting for so long. Who knows if it's going to come off. So that just makes it way easier to separate. Now let's get this other side. See how easy that is? And just like that, it is now separated. So How about the other? The other side now? So that being separated from there, it'll now move forward with the windshield. It will also move forward with the windshield. And just in case you're wondering, it looks like it might rain. I do have an emergency top for this seat. So, because I no longer need the tape. So I'm going to peel off the bottom first. And boy, am I gonna need to, to get some goo gone on this. Oh. You ever do something and decide that it was a bad idea? This is definitely <laughs> a bad idea. It this kept is, it dry. This is Gorilla Tape. And Gorilla Tape, watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's ugh. some rust issues here. I don't know if we're going to have to fix this, but it's going to take taking the glass out. But we're not going to deal with that right now. Because right now, all we're going to do, do you want another is pillow we're going to rest side? this down, just like this. Because what I need to get to is down in here. Now, there is a, uh, a, a special event parking ticket. <laughs> a... Uh, Slim Jim? A very... <laughs> Very nasty Slim Jim. One ink pen and some leaves. Let's throw that goop out. Slim Jim. <laughs> so, 
my windshield is down. The part that I have to get to is up in here. Are we gonna brush this off? Now you can see it's gonna get vacuumed out. So let's go get the vacuum cleaner. So what we're doing is we're taking off these uh, the screws that hold this in and then we're going to clean up this as you can see the uh, the rust here this rust here is going to probably take a wire brush to be able to clean that off that's from water coming under the front of the seal on the front part of the seal right here it cups the windshield you can see where the rust and pieces of the windshield are actually embedded in there so this is old and crusty exposed to the Florida sun uh, probably crunched down we're replacing this seal okay so what we did is we were cleaning off the area with a paper towel to make sure everything's clean uh, we're gonna do a little more thorough cleaning but we got to clean the front too so as so I lift this up we're gonna check the front and uh, see if we can clean this up a little bit I'll come back and get rid of this glue later looks good enough the problem is is that water gets into here and then it goes down into the dashboard do so this seal. this seal uh, hopefully in here is not going to cause an issue because I think that may be the problem with my dash leaking because it does leak right about there so there's that possibility that that's what it is You want me to move this yellow stuff out of the way? <laughs> no, not you. Yeah. The part will be listed below. It's an Amazon part. I've had this part for two years because I've been dealing with the Jeep the way it is. So this is the new windshield cow seal and hopefully this is going to fix my issue this is the new rubber part that goes on the front of the windshield and let's find out dogs fighting across the street talking to the camera i don't know if they're all the same or not not easy Next, grab bars. These, uh, <laughs> these grab bars were very hard to find at the right price. They're like 40 bucks for, for TJ's and 24 bucks for JK's, but finding any for a YJ because it's a different mount, they were running like 80 bucks. Well, let's see if they were worth it. One and two. Doesn't say driver's side or passenger side. It just says RT off-road. They feel heavy. They feel good. My judgment is that they're going to go like this. Right, right side, left side. And that they're going to use their original hardware. These are the bolts that go in there. They go in just like this. If you try to use the bolts from down here, they're too <laughs> short. So that'll help. Next thing are these weird little teeny ones. And those are going to go on my visor, which I do have to replace because I'll do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and get it started over here on this side so that I know that I'm lined up properly. That's 
So I replaced the seal between the tub and the windshield. Inexpensive part. You just got to undo these four bolts here. Uh, undo your bracket here. Undo the roll bar. Then the thing goes forward. Clean everything out and you can just put in the new one. Screw it in pretty easy. I also replaced uh, these which break over time with these. I love these. These have some of the best things ever on a Jeep. Helps you to get in and out, especially if you got a lifted Jeep. So other than that, uh, it's coming along, getting kind of cleaned up on the inside. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching Florida Jeep Rides with our 1995 Wrangler. Getting some upgrades.